So this is just a quick update video of what's going on with the, my 2000 Dodge Ram 1500 5.9 two-wheel drive. Done a lot to it, and I have uh, a part two video coming soon that has a lot more videos on it. But uh, so far, this is how it looks. A lot of work into it. Got the headers in there, a little dirty already, but. A lot of time cleaning up the engine, that's for sure. Replaced a lot of parts. Added some upgrades. Pretty clean. She sounds really good. got the uh, upgraded 20 from 2011 Dodge Ram 1500 um, there's 275 55 20 tires on this right now and that's what I'm gonna go with until they're until they're gone I bought these on eBay uh, they are Falcon ZX uh, ST05 all the way around Man, they really grabbed the road. Grabbed the road good. So uh, we got a lot of uh, work and detail on the inside you'll see in the videos. I'm about to do, uh, there's still a little ways to go on it. I'm about to do some, uh, some suspension upgrades. I already put a, a, a lowering kit on it. Well, I put uh, lowering shackles in the rear and I dropped it down uh, two inches in the front. So when you look at it, there's no more rake. These trucks had an ugly rake where it's, the ass end stuck up like a beetle. <laughs> I didn't like that, it never did. So now it's leveled out. And uh, I'm gonna put some new shocks on it and then I have some uh, ball joints and some front uh, steering linkage, new pieces to put on done a lot spent a lot of money already so it has my my business window sticker there on the back so that when I'm pulled over on the side of the road people know what I'm doing <laughs> kind of sorta um, the wheels were silver and what I did is I used the um, uh, peelable paint that's a lot like a uh, plastic dip it's it's a plastic dip type but it's not it's actually actually a little bit better see and I'm also putting in a rear disc brake uh, kit so those drums are going to be coming off it does have new shoes on it and new brake shoe or brake uh, pads in the front but I want some more stopping power and so I'm going to change those out to a disc brake set but You guys can hear that, but it's deep and mellow. Um, I had a Flowmaster in here. Well, I had the Jones in first, and then I put a Flowmaster muffler in there. And there was actually a noticeable difference, and I really like the Jones better. So I already put the dang stickers on the on on the window, <laughs> but I went back to the Jones, and I have the Flowmaster sitting in the shop. So.
am running off of the stock uh, catalytic converter because it was newer. It had been uh, replaced. The whole thing had been replaced at one point. So I left that in when I put these headers on. And it, it flows pretty good. I don't think I'm going to get any type of, uh, of uh, you know, performance boost by putting a, a high flow cat in. I think I'm just going to leave it the way that it is. And uh, it has a new pipe from that muffler back to the 3 inch. And then it has a 3 inch bent uh, pipe coming out the back. So I thought about doing a, a turn down type deal underneath, but I don't want to spend too much time on that. It's, it's a good, and, good and ready as it is. This cold air intake actually gives you, I mean, the, between that and the exhaust and the full tune-up and the upgraded, you know, distributor and, and uh, fuel injectors and all that other stuff, there's a definitely, definitely a really noticeable pedal response. I mean, you can tap that thing and it, it, it wants to go. I don't have my tripod on here, but um, I'll reach back in here. Grab it if I can grab it. But anyway, this is just a short video to kind of show you guys where I'm at uh, with it so far. And uh, I got a lot better gas mileage after doing all this to it and the, the transmission. Now, there's another thing I have to talk about. The transmission has been replaced. Uh, this is the third transmission now. And the reason being is I had a really nice one. You'll see it in part one. If you go to my videos, you'll see it in part one. Um, it looked real nice. Got it painted up good. New pump. Uh, all new electrics. And it worked good for probably, I would say, the first two months. Excuse me. And then um, the band needed to be replaced. The second gear band needed to be replaced. So instead of putting in a slip-in band, I took the transmission out. I went to trade it in. Um, however, the guy doing it said, hey, you know what? I got a performance uh, transmission. You know, I'll gladly take yours. And it comes with a torque converter. I'll gladly take yours. And, um, you know, we can work out a deal. Well, I ended up getting the transmission. You'll see it in part two. Uh, that I ended up putting in here and um, knew it was a $1,600 transmission and only had 8,000 miles on it. So I opted to go that route instead of having the one that I that I originally spruced up and put in. Um, and man, I, could, I, I definitely see and notice a difference. And um, it's a medium to high, they classify it as a medium to high uh, torque converter. Um, medium high RPM stall but you know what this truck moves I you know I read a lot of things online about people saying oh you know the 5.9 Magnum's a dog engine you can't get much out of it I beg to differ man I've been messing with this thing for this this is two years now to get it to this point and um, paint you know the cosmetic stuff all that stuff is gonna be last but I love this truck and, and uh, I put a lot of time and money and effort into it. So as far as the outside though, the cosmetics and that, it's got some, some dents and stuff in the door you'll see in the first video. You see it's got a few things here and there, but really I was gonna save all that for last because what's gonna happen is um, I have a friend that's going to give it a matte clear coat. After finishing these, he'll spray the I think we're going to replace the door, but he'll spray everything down with a, uh, the same color, which is a cheap silver, you know, Dodge. He's got lots of it. And we'll give it a, uh, a matte uh, clear coat to, you know, give it that matte color. It will get the Rumblebee stripes on the back just because I like them. Um, but a lot of work, man. I can't even, you guys really need to follow the videos to see the work that's been done. And the last but not least part is going to be this interior. Um, the seats are going to be uh, reupholstered. The carpet there, 
Uh, the previous owner had kids, and we all know how that goes with kids. Upon fixing the cluster there and putting new background lights in it, I broke that bezel, so I got to replace that. And I also have a heater core going in, so I'll be doing doing that work too. It's got a pretty big stereo system in it. Nothing, nothing too expensive. Um, I use Boss. I like Boss, but there is a Rockville 10 inch sub back there in a custom made box that I made and that thing weighs, pardon my recycling bags there, but uh, that box, you can't really see it, but it, it weighs 83 pounds with that speaker in it and it's the three quarter inch double sandwich with a two chamber uh, design. And yes, she bumps. Um, you can't even turn it up a little over halfway with the windows closed. You'll blow your eardrums out. Anyhow, it's not about the stereo. It's about the truck. A lot, a lot of time went into this, man. I really hope that you guys will go back and uh, and check out number part number one. Um, this is just an update, like I said, where I'm at. And part number two will be coming soon. So, uh, like, share, subscribe. Check out my other videos if you can.